are going to be continuing the lecture series on carbohydrates. So this is going to be part two. We're going to be focusing on polysaccharides, mainly starch, glycogen, and glycosaminoglycans, which I'll be abbreviating as GAGs. Polysaccharides are also known as glycans. So in your study materials, you may see it referred to as glycans, or even on the test, you may see it referred to as glycans. A polysaccharide is just many sugars linked by glycosidic bonds. Polysaccharides can be used for storage, such as glycogen, or structures, such as cellulose, although I'm not going to talk about cellulose in this lecture. So the main types I'll be focusing on are starch, glycogen, dextrans, levans, also known as fructans, and gags. And you see dextrans and levans show up in a lot of plaque type questions because they're a main component of plaque. Starch is a bunch of glucose molecules joined by glycosidic bonds. There's two main types. There's amylose and amylopectin. And the main type of question you see associated with these is the type of linkage that it is. So amylose is an alpha 1,4 linkage and amylopectin is an alpha 1,6 linkage. And that's just referring to which carbon on one glucose is attached to which carbon number on the other glucose. So here, this little circle is showing an alpha 1,4 link, just a straight unbranched link. And this circle up here is showing amylopectin. It's showing a branched one going up. And so the way I remember this is I think of a six. I think of a six above my head. I'm grabbing onto that little circle part of the six and pulling myself up. And so I imagine there's a little six up here and amylopectin is reaching up and grabbing onto that six and becoming branched. There's two enzymes that chew up starch. The enzyme is called amylase, and there's salivary amylase and pancreatic amylase. And now you know that the saliva glands and the pancreas both produce amylase. Glycogen is also seen in alpha-1,4 and alpha-1,6 linkages. The alpha-1,4 linkage is more common. Most carbs in the body are stored in the form of glycogen, and so you have glycogen being stored in the liver and in the muscle, but they both serve different functions. So the liver is going to help maintain blood glucose. So anytime the blood glucose is a little bit wonky, not quite right, you're going to snip glycogen and distribute those glucose molecules where needed. The muscle, on the other hand, is just strictly used during exercise to provide glucose during exercise. Dextrans shows up in one of two main questions, sometimes other things. Usually it shows up in plaque questions, and then there's this weird little way that it's synthesized that they like to test you on. So it's a polysaccharide of glucose, but here's the weird thing. It's synthesized from sucrose. So that sounds kind of weird, but let's look at the components of sucrose. So we've got glucose plus fructose. So we slice and dice on sucrose, and we get glucose and we distribute the glucose to dextrans. Dextrans is going to form the glycocalyx capsule in strep mutans. And the glycocalyx capsule is sticky and it's what gives plaque the attribute of being sticky. And so I have dextrans and levans here because they both are part of plaque, but more often you see the dextrans questions. Levans is also known as fructans and it has this same weird little synthesis deal as dextrans. So it's a polymer made of fructose, but it's synthesized from sucrose. So you cut it in half and you take the fructose and the fructose gets divvied up into levans. Glycose aminoglycans are unbranched polysaccharides that are repeating disaccharides. So you have two sugars that just repeat themselves over and over and over again. And that's a gag. They're highly negatively charged. And the way I remember this is a gagging patient is a negative thing. It's a negative experience. Gags are important structural components of the extracellular matrix in the connective tissue. Gags have a lot of hydroxyl groups, which at attract water, make it kind of squishy. And so there's this mucus-like or viscous-like consistency to gags. They're kind of sticky. So I am going to go through six different types of gags, but Really, I'm going to focus on three. So I've got three here, three on the next slide. I'm just going to focus on these three because they're overwhelmingly the most tested on. So first, I'm going to talk about chondroitin sulfate. It's the most abundant gag of the extracellular matrix. Uh, it's part of cartilage, 
tendons and ligaments. And so the way I remember this is I think about cartilage is a bundle.